Tim Witzman, the president of the Wichita Independent Business Association. Our guest today, Dr. Brett Anderson. Um, and you were talking about the more customer-friendly part of Tabor. Yes. Um, I've taught for five different universities, and some of the worst bureaucracies I've ever seen are universities. It's one of the reasons I left. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they could, uh, in some cases couldn't get out of their own way. Um, how are you structured to get a, away from that? How do you how do you try to not be like that? You know, that's an excellent question, and I have to give a lot of credit to the president of my college, Dr. Jules Glanzer. Uh, he recognized long ago that one of the ways that you're going to serve your constituency best is to focus the university services beyond the faculty. So that's, that's uh, business, uh, financial aid, student accounts, uh, academic advisement, et cetera. Really on the student market itself. And so we have redundant systems in those areas that service the student. One uh, here at the Wichita campus, which is focused on the adult student. And the Hillsborough campus, our main campus, is fo focused on the traditionally aged student, that 18 to 22 year old. They come with different needs, they come with different desires, Desires. They come with different uh, ideas about education, as we spoke about earlier. Uh, but in that, somebody who's 35 and is mid-career and has hit a ceiling and, and feels like they're landlocked and wants to uh, finish a degree that they had started before, has already had life happen. And they have, they have a spouse, they have kids, they have a career, they have civic engagements. And that brings a whole different set of challenges than an 18-year-old who might live in the dorms during the day, play on an athletic team and go to class at 930 in the the morning. And so the services that they provide and desire are dramatically different. And so the way that we try and customize those services is to be uh, focused on the needs and wants and the availability and the convenience that an adult student needs to finish their degree. Rather than trying to have uh, a one-size-fits-all approach to the needs of the student, we really focus on the needs. And within the adult student market, um, whether it's nursing or education or business, come with even more challenges based upon where they're employed and uh, what access they have to education. Um, for a number of years, I, I used to be involved with McCrell. I don't know if you're familiar with them. It's a re research lab and uh, chaired it a couple of times. I've been pushing for more integration of academic and skill training. Um, the academic kids often come out and don't don't have any real skills and they're worth ten dollars an hour and the other kids can't do enough math to become an electrician and both of them need some of the other um, recently we've had the governor uh, in the Senate bill I think it's 155 created money for high school kids to be able to take tech ed and now Obama has come out with this proposal to fund two years of community college tech ed whatever Give me your thoughts on all that. Well, in, in the big picture, um, I'm, I'm with you. I, I completely believe that when you get out of college, that you should be equipped and empowered with the skills, a toolbox of knowledge, if you will, that helps you impact and create value within whatever organization you're going to go work for. I am passionate about people learning how to influence positively the value chain of any organization, whether it be a for-profit, non-profit, ministry, or government-related place. Uh, I believe that the ultimate value in any college education is what you can do to add value either to yourself as an entrepreneur or to a larger organization. Um, that being said, uh, I, I love the concept of workforce development uh, in the governor's plan in Senate Bill 155. As it extrapolates the higher education and, and the, the Obama proposal, it's a little short on specifics at this point, so I'll talk in, in generalities. I think it's difficult to see uh, the, the, the benefit without more detailed proposal from the, the president of the White House. And there might be a cost in there somewhere. There may be a cost in there somewhere. Um, for, estimates for anywhere country, from... trillions uh, in debt. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. You're, you're asking one segment of the society to, to fund the education for other segments of society. Um, and it's, it's definitely a benefit transfer in that regard. One of the things, uh, I was listening to what you said, and I think we're pretty much on the same page. When I talk to people, um, and I sometimes go for people who are going to be looking for jobs and, and some assistance over at uh, cerebral palsy or somewhere, mm -hmm. what I try to explain to them is when, pe when people hire you, I'm looking for somebody who can 
help me solve problems. I mean, you can say add value. To me, it's the same thing, you know. Our, our, you're not there just to process. You're there to help me solve difficulties that I have. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, I'm going to take my MBA program for the example. And one of the ways that we've recrafted the MBA program is, is to teach it as the business practitioner's terminal degree. When you get out of there, we want you equipped with the business making, uh, decision making tool sets that you would need to encounter and successfully navigate any problem that you would uh, have in business. Now, when I took my MBA, uh, it, a part of it was was an exercise in memorizing the bold type definitions that are in the margin of the textbook. And, and the way that we've written this MBA here at Tabor is to take your job at your company as a living case study. And we're going to walk through uh, the analysis of your company uh, and other companies as well that we, that we bring into the mix. But we're going to teach you how to do something, not just how to memorize something. And so we're manipulating all the different uh, siloed elements of any organization, management, marketing, accounting, finance, awareness of economics and strategic planning and strategic positioning and seeing that strategic landscape uh, within your company and within your industry. We're teaching people how to be not just entrepreneurs but entrepreneurs within their own company um, and again adding value. At the graduate level also we want them to learn how to uh, not just assess themselves in terms of their leadership capability but how to flow out of that onto subordinates or people around them and how to get work done with and through those other people by helping them become leaders of first themselves and then of others. Well, we could go on doing this forever, but time has run out on us for this session of Wichita's Biz That Is. Thank you, Dr. Anderson. Thank you very much for having me.